Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we saw the entire ICSC 2025 Boards Computer Applications Specimen Paper. So before we begin, it is a request to please, please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only 2 to 3 are subscribed. More than 95% of my audience is not subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So we will be solving this entire paper okay question one question two and question three onwards okay also i teach coding in hindi on my other code with Biki hindi channel so solutions like this for icsc isc students and a lot more videos about programming content i have already solved and uploaded on my code with Biki hindi channel so if you could spare five minutes please do check out my channel and please let me know your reviews on that all right so let's begin so this is question one and you have to choose the correct uh, answers from the given options okay so question one, you are given this image and this image question has been there for the last couple of years that I see. Okay. So name the our structure. So this represents a 2D array. So this is, you can say this is zero, row 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3 and four rows. Okay. And column 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So five columns. Okay. Five columns. So this is a two dimensional array with four rows and five columns. Okay. Uh, Java compiled code can run all, all, all operating systems is true and name the feature is platform independent. Okay. The size of backslash n. So this is a care constant. Okay. Care constants are two bytes. Okay. Then we have the identify the operator that is the highest precedence while evaluating the given expression would be it would be this. Okay. So in terms of precedence, multiplication, divide and percent have the same precedence okay associativity is left to right all right so you have percent then we move on what is a valid java keyword so this has to be lowercase i this is not this has to be all lowercase this is not so this is the answer okay this has to be lowercase s for this to be keyword the output for following code print align mat.seal plus mat.floor minus one minus two so mat.seal 6.4 give will give you seven okay because ceiling so whenever you have to think in terms of ceiling and floor assume that you are sitting in a standing in a room which is like this okay so your floor your, your ceiling is the next whole number your floor is the whole number just uh, just before okay so if you are somewhere here between two whole numbers so floor will be the whole number just uh, below this number so i am into the middle of the room okay you can assume at 3.5 okay so floor is going to be 3 and ceiling is going to be 4 okay next whole number suppose we are at 6.78 okay somewhere between floor and ceiling so 6.78 the floor is going to be the previous whole number which is going to be 6 and ceiling is going to be the next whole number which is going to be 7 okay so mat dot seal 6.4 next whole number 7 mat dot floor minus 1 minus 2 so you have to evaluate this first this comes out to be minus 3 mat dot floor minus 3 so when you are already at the floor then the floor will be the same value and the ceiling will be the same value so this is going to be uh, minus 3 itself so 7 plus minus 3, this will give you 7 minus 3 will give you 4. Okay. Returns a string. Uh, dot length returns an integer. Caret returns a character. Index of returns an index. And this returns a string. Okay. Which of the following statement is not true? Regards to switch statement. Checks for equality between input and case labels. This is true. Suppose low string coins constants is not true. So this is the answer. Break is used to exit. Okay, this is fine. Case labels are unique. This is fine. Okay. Consider the array given below. C H A E I which of the following statements. Write the output of the following statements. Uh, C H of 0 into 2. So you are multiplying C H of 0 which is A into 2. So ask a value of A. You should remember ask a value of A is 65. Okay. Ask a value of lower case A. This upper case A is 97. Okay. So this is going to be 65 into 2, 130. Okay. To execute loop 10 times if the following is correct, okay, so you'll have to actually find the values of i. So for this case, i starts at 11, okay, and i is less than 30, i plus equal to 2. So i takes 11, then 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, uh, 25, 27, 29 less than 30 right plus equal to, to starting with the list. so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
and 9 and 10 so this will run 10 times if you look at this this is plus equal to 3 so i starts with 11 in this case okay and less than 30 so it takes 14 then it takes 17 okay then it takes 20 then it takes 23 okay uh, 23 then it takes 26 and 29 okay so it runs for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 times only okay right this will run from 11 to less than 20 this will run 9 times okay and this will run 2 less than equal to 20 this will run 11 times okay so this is a part of the answer a single dimensional array has 50 elements okay indices 0 to 49 which of the following experiments initialize the last element to 100 so last element will be at index length minus 1 so this is going to be our answer x49 okay method prototype for a method compute which it accepts two integer arguments and returns true or false accepts two integers are all returns true or false is a boolean type so this is going to be our answer next we move on is control back to the calling method is return okay that is uh, when the method call returns it goes back to the method from where where it was called that is what they say brings the control back to the calling method okay default value of the boolean variable is false if you want to test this default value of the boolean variable you can do something like if you do this boolean f okay and if you do this out uh, uh, f equal to plus f okay you get an error that uh, local uh, variable f may not be initialized okay so you get a red mark you cannot run this so how do you check default value then because you have to provide it some value right you can provide it true or false in order to check default value what you can do you can create an array of boolean types you can say boolean arr b okay plus new boolean say five locations okay so by default all these values in this array all the locations in this array will be filled by the default value of boolean which is going to be false so if i print i equal to zero i less than arb dot length i plus plus okay all the values by default are going to be false so arr b of plus i plus okay, equal to plus okay, arb of i okay so when you run this uh, i cannot use this right because i'm not sending it a value when you run this okay say all are false okay the next one is converts lowercase character to uppercase is this function okay this is a static function in character class which is the wrapper class for char and you actually have to pass the character that you want to convert to lower uppercase okay then comes integer characters can be used without calling a message true this is true belongs to default bank is true so both assertion and reasoning is true and it is also the correct explanation okay then we come to next execute x by 2 is the return for incorrect okay because it should be plus equal to 2 what will be the correct statement this is correct this is also correct so a and c okay the statement is to find the total number of strings present in the string array s is s dot length simply length and not this length this is used in string so that's why this is confusing they are asking you the length of, a, of an array not a length of a string okay because in the following statement which are jumbled choose the correct order to swap okay so in this just think in terms of what would you do okay so first you would initialize a variable so three comes first so this is the only option with three which, which is three coming first and this should be your answer so when you are trying to swap okay you say uh, static void swap int a int b okay i'll just take let's just say swap only okay then you first take the temp variable then you have to store some variable in temp so that you can use it later so which is the line storing the variable in temp yeah t t equal to a so next comes four next comes four which is here so we already chose the right answer then comes uh, since we t equal to a sorry since we stored a we can replace the value in a so we do a equal to b and finally we do b equal to 10 okay so a equal to b comes then which is 1 which comes then 1 and then come last comes 2 this is your answer okay then argument is a value that is passed to a method when it is called uh, true this is true variables which are declared in the method prototype to receive are called actual no the the, uh, the argument value which is passed is called actual parameters and the variables in the method prototype are called formal parameters 
ओके सो असर्शन इज ट्रू एंड रीजनिंग इज फॉल्स सी पार्ट ओके देन यू कम टू क्वेश्चन टू इज द फॉलोइंग फॉर ए सिंगल इफ स्टेटमेंट सो सिंस बोथ आर प्रिंटिंग ग्रीन सो यू कुड डू समथिंग लाइक दिस इफ इफ कोड इक्वल टू जी और कोड इक्वल टू जी अपर केस जी दिस इज आउट This should be your answer, okay? And you can say, yeah, the code is some value. This is the answer. Okay. So next part is a is two, b is three. So how do you basically solve these questions? Is so this is a equal to two and b equal to three, and you have to solve this. So this basically expands to b equal to b into this entire thing a plus plus minus plus plus b plus 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 a. Okay. So the value of b is three into, and then we solve this equation. Okay. Now solving this, so this is post increment. So use the value of a and then increment. The value of a is two. We use it, then we increment it by one. It becomes three. Okay. Minus plus plus b pre increment. You increment the value of b first and then use it. You increment it to four and then use it. Plus 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 a. So increment the value of a and then use it. So incrementing it to four and then using it. So we have all our values now. So three into minus four plus four cancel into two equal to six. Okay. A comes out to be four. B comes out to be six. So A equal to four. B equal to six. That's your answer. Okay. A student who has a problem and gets an error, the other side which has an error, correct the same to output as win. Okay. So you have to output this. Okay. It's a switch case. There is a break too. So in order to print this, this case has to match. So X has to be one. Currently it is a boolean. So you remove this. This is int. Okay, x equal to one. When x is one, case matches here. You print one new break, and that's your output. Okay, this is done as well. Okay, write Java expression for this. So you could do. You can say double x say three, double y is say four. Okay, so you could calculate double a as. You have to calculate cube root of x and square root of y. So cube root of x and square root of math dot s q r t y. So this is your answer. Okay, this is one way. Okay, so when you print a, uh, a equal to plus a. Okay, you get some value. You could also do math dot pow. Okay, x to the power one by three because this is cube root one by three. But you have to make it one point zero by three. Otherwise, one by three will be uh, integer division. You get zero. And math dot pow uh, y to the power one point zero by Square root, and then we print a. These should be very similar values. Okay, you see same values. Okay, we recalculate a again. Okay, so if I do this by mistake, okay, because CBRD is a function that you don't use that often. You usually use SQRT. Okay, so you see this is basically one uh, by three is zero. So x plus zero is one. So one by two is zero. What plus zero is one. So one plus one you get two. Okay, so that's why you have to make sure that if you're using math dot pow, you use 1.0 by, or you do this, or you do this. One of the numerator or denominator has to be a double type for it to evaluate properly. Okay, or you could directly use this. So this is the answer, or this is the answer. Either one of them. Okay. So I'm going to upload a document and I'll show you the link where which has all the answers. Okay. So just make sure that you understand. You can find the link of the answers in the description of this video. Okay. Okay, how many times will the code execute? You start with x equal to ten. Uh, okay. You say while true. You say print an x plus plus into two. If x percent three equal to zero, we break. So you are printing x into two and then you are incrementing x. So if this is my output, okay. You are printing x into two. X is ten. You print ten into two. You print twenty. Okay. Then x is incremented by one. X becomes eleven. Okay. X percent three is equal to zero. False. You go back again. You do the same thing. You print x into two, which is twenty two. X is incremented by one. X becomes twelve. Twelve percent three is equal to zero is two. You break, so the loop stops. Loop runs twice, and this is the output twenty and twenty two. Okay, all right. You can run this and check. Okay, write out the output of the following string methods. Uh, print ln x dot caret zero equal to y dot caret zero. So equal to is a relational operator. Okay, returns a boolean value. 
ट्रू और फॉल्स एक्स डॉट कैरेट जीरो इज अपर केस जी वाई डॉट कैरेट जीरो इज अपर केस जी सो दिस इज गॉन रिटर्न ट्रू सो द आउटपुट फॉर पार्ट ए इज ट्रू देन वी हैव एक्स डॉट कंपेयर टू वाई सो कंपेयर टू बेसिकली कंपेयर टू स्ट्रिंग्स कैरेक्टर बाय करेक्टर सो दिस कैरेक्टर इज सेम मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर एंड देन मूव ऑन टू द कैरेक्टर दैट हैज द डिफरेंस विच इज एल एंड एम so the return value is ask value of first character minus ask value of second character so l minus m l and m are in next to each other in alphabetical order e f g h uh, j k l m okay so l has a lower lower ask value m has a higher ask value by 1 so l minus m will give you minus 1 okay has answer minus 1 Read the output of the following code snippet. A snippet C H is B C H, which is a variable holding a B. Then we have C H R is lower case of C H, which is C H R is okay. N is int of C H R minus ten. Int of C H R lower case B is basically uh, so lower case A I told you is ninety eight ninety seven sorry. Lower case A is ninety seven. Okay. So lower case B would be ninety eight ask a value. So int of C H R will give you ninety eight minus ten will give you. This will give you eighty eight. Okay. So n is eighty eight. So you have to print character of n plus base plus C H R which is B. So output is going to be some value and tab and B. Okay. Upper case A has ask a value. Sixty five. What we are looking for is character at ask a value, sixty eighty eight. Okay, difference is twenty three. We have a total of twenty six alphabetical characters. So the last character which is Z will have ask a value A plus twenty five because A is the first. Plus twenty five will give you the last. So plus twenty five is going to give you ninety, which will be the ask a value of upper case Z. You have to go two back for eighty eight. So Z. Y X. So this is this part is going to give you upper case X, and then a tab, and then B. So this is going to be your answer for this part. Okay. Then this is two. Okay. Okay. So the error is syntax error because the code will not compile. Okay. Because you are trying to convert a double to an int, so you basically replace this by double. Okay. Double y equal to double dot password, and it will then work. Okay, syntax error, and you have to replace this line. Okay, then we come to the ninth part. Uh, Consider the following statement: Class calculate a uh, default constructor a and b are set to zero. Parameterize constructor a and b set to x, x and y. Type of constructors are parameterized and default. Okay, then the tenth part is uh, you have this, and you have to what is the position of thirty four? So this is row zero, row one, row two. Thirty four is column zero, so two zero, okay, is thirty four, okay. Then what is the regular x two three, zero one two zero one two three, so this is nine, okay, plus one two so zero one zero one two eight, this is seventeen, okay, all right. So questions one and two are done, and question three onwards I have solved separately in separate videos, in detail explaining how to approach the code, how to solve the code. So links for videos explaining each of these questions three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you can find in the description of this video. I have already put that all into a separate playlist as well, and codes for all these questions you can also find in the description of this video and in the corresponding videos as well. okay and i will also put up a document in the description the link for that where you have answers for all the questions all together okay so this was the solved paper of icsc 2025 computer applications post specimen paper i hope you like this video and this was helpful so if there is any doubt there is a part you don't understand please let me know in the comments i always try to answer all the comments and you can also let me know in the comments if there is a question you want to solve of this concept you want to discuss so please like this video subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching